So in this page, we're going to show you another advanced functionality of the select single component. So we're adding a select single and we're going to populate it using an ADP. So to do the ADP, we'll start by creating a new um, type based on the structure of an employee. Pick up most of the fields here, but we can remove a few that are not interesting. So this creates a new type for us. Next thing is to create a variable, call it my ADP, which is an array data provider. And the type for it is the type we just created. And the key attribute over here is going to be ID. All right, so now we have an ADP. We need to populate it. And um, so we'll pick up the event listener for when we enter the page. We're going to create an action, populate, ADP okay. in this action we're going to call a REST service that fetches the information about employees and then we're going to assign this to our ADP so whatever is returned here in the array of items is going to go into the data array under ADP so this populates the ADP. Now, the next thing is back in our page. We have the single select over here. We'll click on the data and we'll specify that we want it to be based on the ADP. And the item that we're going to show here, for example, is the name. Okay, and um, switch to live, get all the values here. Okay, now um, in another video, um, there's I showed you how to create a more advanced interface for the single select where you can show more than just one field. So I'm gonna paste here a piece of code, okay, that adds the template for our select single to add a few more fields here, okay? And once I do this, if I go back to the live mode and I open it, you can now see a full list of uh, various fields over here. Now, the trick part is that you can only search, okay, actually search doesn't work right now because we're using an ADP. What we need to tell the ADP is which fields we want to be able to search on, okay? And the way to do it is you go back to the definition of the variable, okay, the ADP over here. Right now, it's missing here one more attribute, which is um, which fields you can filter based on. You can find this attribute if you go to the JET documentation. Okay. Um, JET has a sample here called filter all fields, which allows you to basically pop up um, this list over here. And if you type, for example, 20, it would find people who are in department 20 or salary 20. And the way that you do this is by specifying this thing, the text filter attribute for an ADP. So we're gonna copy this and let's show you how to do it in Visual Builder. We don't have a place here to specify it, okay? I'm gonna specify here um, implicit sort ID. And the, I don't actually need this. The reason I'm doing it is, so in my JSON file, where we have this definition over here. This is the ADP, this is the implicit sort. Instead of implicit sort, I want to be able to text filter attribute based on a bunch of fields. So I'm gonna add here, for example, an array, okay? And inside here, I'm gonna say the fields that I want to be able to filter on. So we can have both um, text fields, salary field, like that, okay? So we have those three fields that we can filter on. Let's go back to our page, switch to live mode, okay? Open our list and start to type. So if we type Dave, okay, we get Dave. And um, if we type, for example, US, we'll get all the people who are in the US. And if we'll type uh, 40, for example, we'll get everybody that has 40 in their salary. So you can see now we basically can filter on any one of the fields that we specified in our um, filter property for our ADP.